evening, Aisha. Hi, good evening. I'm really happy that you can make it today. Oh, thank you. Um, where is James? Oh, he should be here any moment from now. Are you sure James will come? Because the James that I know has a habit the of The James old... what? Aisha. Beatrice. I was actually on my way here earlier on, but then I mistakenly took a wrong turn, and I got held by these traffic people. I've been there since. It's all right. Mr. Mrs. Kalfo, please have a seat. Thank you very much, Aisha. Last night, I made notes out of all I've heard. And I want you both to listen carefully. From what I can see, apologizing to each other is one of your first big problems. None of you is willing to see where you've gone wrong. That is why you have different points of views on every issue. Now, the only standard I know for a happy marriage is the word of God. And the word of God declares that love is patient, love is selfless, love bears no records of wrongs. No one is perfect. No one will ever be. Perfection is an illusion. But understanding is everything. Beaches, there's a practical side to marriage as well as a spiritual side. As a wife, a woman has no authority over her body, but use it to her husband. Sex is important in a marriage. And you both must understand your emotions, your feelings, or your moods. To perfectly enjoy an amazing sex life together. You need to learn to pray together, Put hands in unity. Prayer bonds you. Prayer strengthens you. Prayer prepares you for the trying times. Marriage is work, and the both of you must be prepared to work at it. Now that work starts from now. I want you guys to look each other in the eyes and tell yourselves what you guys saw in each other. What you guys attracted yourself, what attracted yourself to each other. You do it. Um, well, um, when I first met you, I, I thought you were one of those shallow ladies because you are pretty. But then, when we go talking, I found out that you were as smart as a whip. And your intelligence was a turn on for me. Besides that, you... You really have a good heart. And you're always willing to help others out. I must also admit that you're incredibly sexy. And you were willing to fight for me even when your parents didn't want us to get married because I didn't have much then. When I first met you, I fell in love with you because of your intelligence. I mean, it was a save. We were on the same green wave. With you, I, I didn't have to say a word for you to know what I was thinking. You made me feel like the most beautiful woman in the world with the way you looked at me. And you also made me laugh. Now, I want you guys to hold hands, take your time, take a deep breath in, 
and let it come from within. I want you guys to tell each other that I forgive you. There's always a perspective ever so clear. 